of maneuvering you yes. to reach that goal. Yes, yes, yes. We look at Joseph. Mm -hmm. He was sold into slavery. He was lied on. He was jailed. He was forgotten, even though a promise was made to him. But he was preserved. Yes, yes. And while being preserved, he ended up being trained by Pharaoh. He was given much power. He became a ruler and spent much time in the house and the land of the enemy. Mm -hmm. He was preserved until the time came for him to reveal who he truly was. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. If we look at David, he was destined to be king. 1 Samuel chapter 16 tells us David was anointed to be king. Mm -hmm. But in a miraculous way, he ended up in the palace. Mm -hmm. He was playing the harp, but he was also going in and learning at the same time. He was gleaning how to be king. Mm -hmm. He understood his destiny. Yes. Do you understand your destiny today? Yes. He understood his destiny and realized that he had to start somewhere and that was playing the harp. Yes. He couldn't just sit and have the crown handed to him. Often too many times people think that they are entitled uh -huh. and they want things to be handed to them. Uh -huh. They don't want to start from the bottom. They don't want to work anywhere. They just want it to be handed to them. Uh -huh. But David is a fitting example that tells us that he had to learn how and destiny will move you even if it means you have to start from the bottom or if you have to start all over again. Yes, yes. And that is the great thing about our God. He is a God of many opportunities. He is a God of many chances. God does not write you off. He gives you all opportunities upon opportunities to walk into your destiny. Yes, yes. The next powerful word in the theme is the word win. Mm. To win means victory. Yes. But in order to win, there must be a competition. Mm -hmm. The word win is also associated with a battle or a war. Mm -hmm. On this journey of life, there are so many competitions, various competitions, and the list goes on. But there are warfares, there are battles, mm -hmm. as well as their wins. What are some battles that you are facing today? Jesus. What are you facing right now? I come to tell you, no matter how hot the battle is, you will win. Yes. There are many times when you go to sleep at night, the enemy does not want you to wake up. Mm -hmm. You may have a bad dream. You may feel like you don't want to get up because you're feeling hurt or you may be feeling sad or depressed. You might be tired. You don't want to go to work because there's just too much drama. And But the minute you open your eyes and you set your feet on that floor, yes. you win. Amen. You have already won Amen. that battle. Amen. Amen. Hey. The enemy... Sometimes you're driving to some places. The enemy does not want you to get there. Mm -hmm. So you probably almost had an accident. Mm -hmm. But the minute you get there mm -hmm. and you stop that car, you already win. Yes, yes. Yes. Sometimes in our lives, the moment when we decide to move forward in progress, yes, yes. yes we are at a place now where we're financially stable, or we're at a place now where we have a nice roof over our heads, or whatever it is. Because now you may be in that better place, but here comes many challenges. Mm -hmm. yeah. But as long as you put your trust in God, and I can put my neck on the block for that, that as long as you trust in God, and you push your way, you will win. Amen. 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 You are more than conquerors yes, today. Yes, amen. Am I speaking to somebody amen, today? Amen. Jeremiah 1 verse 9, the New Living Translation clearly states, they will fight you and they can be just a number of things or individuals. 
but they will fail. Yes. And God says, for I am with you yes. and I will take care of you. Yes. I, the Lord, your God, I have spoken. Amen. And if you want more assurance, Isaiah 54 verse 17 tells us, no weapon, no weapon that is formed against thee yes. shall prosper. Yes. And every tongue yes. that shall rise up against thee in judgment, yes. thou shalt condemn. Amen. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Amen. And their righteousness is of me, said the Lord. Are you a servant of the living God Amen. today? Yes, Lord. Amen. It doesn't matter what the enemy tries you will reach your goal. Yes. And that, my brothers and sisters, is to win. Yes. And you can take that to the bank. Yes. Yes. Because the Christ that lives on the inside of you Jesus. Yes. is victorious. Amen. He is the winner. Yes. He rose from the dead. Amen. And he lives forevermore. Amen. In him there is no failure. Amen. And God chose us before the foundation of the earth yes. in the one that lives forever. Amen. Knowing all this stuff, knowing all these things is really good. But in order to win, mm. your obedience to God must match up to your faith. Mm. Jesus. Some are spiritually weak because week after week, they hear the word. They hear what the great trainer, yes. Jesus Christ himself, has to say to us mm -hmm. through his word. Mm -hmm. But some stop right there. And they think about how good it was to hear from him. Some leave the church feeling good about how great the instruction sounded. Yet they remain spiritually unfit because the instructions were not followed and they were not acted on. Nothing was done. Think about Abraham as we read in the scripture. God did not just tell him that he would give him a bountiful land. Mm -hmm. He gave him instructions. Yes, yes. Is God giving you instructions today? Mm -hmm. So, in order for Abraham mm -hmm. to experience the goodness of what God has in store for him, he needed to put his faith into action. Yes, yes. The same way it is with us, in order to win, yeah. we must put our faith in action. Mm -hmm. Faith without works is dead. Yes, yes. Faith in God cannot just be a good feeling about something you heard on Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. You have to have hope. You have to trust God. You have to believe that he is working it yes, out yes, for yes, you. Yes, yes, I will yes, say that again. Yes, you will have to have hope. Yes. You have to trust God. Yes. Leave it. Let it go. Let God fix it. Amen. He does not need your help. Mm -hmm. You have to believe that he is working out for you. Yes. Amen. The great trainer, Jesus Christ himself, has given you a course of drills. And in order for you to win, you must follow the drills. Yes. These drills range from low to medium to high intensity. Mm -hmm. In other words, from just reading the scripture to studying the word. Yeah. And letting it be your guide. Praying. Mm. Fasting. Yes. Surrounding yourself with spiritually sound and like-minded individuals. Yes, yes. Praising God and worshiping him in spirit and in truth. Yes. Because he is the king of kings. And he is the Lord of lords. Amen. Amen. Brethren. Yes, Lord. yes. Hold on to what you know is true. Be steadfast. Be unshakable. God's truth is an anchor for your life. He is the constant in a constantly changing world. Are you holding on to what you know is true? Are you growing?
grounded in the truth of God's words? Are you able to stand steadfast against the lies and deceptions of the enemy? Do you have the correct techniques? Are you prepared? Amen. Yes, you must have these things because you are destined to win. Yes. Amen. But are you learning to jump over the hurdles? Or do you have to go back and practice some more? Are you learning what it takes to run this spiritual marathon? Yes, Lord. I implore you today, don't retreat in the face of the adversity. Be immovable yes. in this marathon of life. There are many problems. There are many pains that make it easy for you to want to turn your back on God. Jesus. Don't do it. They may make you want to give in to doubts and fears. To make you want to slide down a slippery slope of unbelief. Jesus. But you are already on the winning side. Jesus. Right now, it may appear that your situation is overtaking you and you're losing the battle. Yes. The enemy is turning up the heat. Yes. It may be sickness. Yes. It may be financial challenges. Yes. It may be the loss of a job. Yes. It may be the loss of a relationship. Yes. Maybe you got off the starting block too early and they disqualified you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All kinds of distractions mm -hmm. are coming your way. All kinds of spiritual turmoil. Yes. All kinds of detours in your life. Yes, no. Nothing, Nothing you do seem to be going right. But do not faint. Amen. I hear the Spirit of God saying this morning, you will not lose. Amen. Hold on to God's unchanging hands. Amen. You may be feeling weak at the moment, but now is not the time to give up. Amen. What you have been praying for, Hallelujah. what you have been waiting for, is right at the door. Amen. You already Amen. have the victory Amen. because you're established in Him. Amen. You are destined to So make the choice yes. either to retreat or to resist. Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil Amen. and he will flee from you. Amen. When you think of all these adversities, Jesus. listen to the words of a man named Job. Amen. Job, he endured the devil's assaults. Yes. Satan took everything Job had. Amen. Job lost his children. Amen. Job lost his possessions. Yes. He lost his servants. He lost his livestock. And he lost his health. Everything. He was brought down to zero. In the island we say not. He was brought down to nothing. He endured more troubles than any of us ever will. But he understood what his destiny was. So he boldly declare, though he slay me, yes. yet will I trust him. Amen. But I will maintain yes. my own yes. ways yes. before him. Yes. Job was determined yes. that nothing yes. that happened to him yes. would separate him yes. from his faith in God. Yes. He did not retreat. He resisted. He came back with a stronger force. Yes, yes. The Apostle Paul once said to a group of Christians when he knew he was about to face adversity, but none of these things move me. Uh, I brush them off my shoulders. None. And I hold my head up because they don't move me. Neither count I my life dear unto myself so that I might finish my course with joy so that I may go to my destiny and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. Acts 20 verse 24. This morning you may be saying, I am not Job. 
I am not David. I am none of those people. And I understand. Mm -hmm. I have my own situation. You just don't understand what I'm going through. How can I win? You must be disciplined. Yes, Lord. You must be disciplined in studying the word of God, in praying, get into fasting, turn down the plate sometimes, be obedient and do what God tells you to do, Amen. no matter what yes. and no matter how foolish it may seem. Yes. You must implement God's plan. The key is to face the giants, yes. but not in our own strength, mm -hmm. power, and ability, but with the power, the anointing, and the strength of the Lord. Hallelujah. His word tells us in Ephesians 6 verse 10, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Don't wear yourself out trying to fight your battles on your own. God's battle plan looks like nothing of man's plan because his ways are higher than ours. You can't win alone. That's another one. You cannot win alone. You are a winner, but you can't win alone. God knows how to work all things out, not just some things. All things out. He will make a way Amen. where there seem to be Amen. no way. Amen. He will work it out. Yes. When the battle is near or you're in the battle, mm -hmm. cry out to God. Stand still and let him fight your battle. Amen. He reminds us, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. Yes. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flames scorch Amen. you. Amen. Yes. Thank you. Next, put on the whole armor of God. Yes. When you're leaving your house in the day, don't think that you're only going to put on one piece. Put on the whole armor of God. Put on the belt of truth. And that is his words. Put on the blessed spirit of righteousness. I am the righteousness of God. Have your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Put on the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Put on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. 